Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. This is Standard Gang. This is Mr. Small Boy again. We're live here at MLS Network. And this is Health Today. What is PICA? We have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with Dr. Anderson, reported by Sam Miller. Going to you, Sam. Thank you, Ishmael. I am now reporting live at the office of one of the most prominent doctors in psychiatric medicine, Dr. Lawrence Anderson at Riverton University Hospital, where we will talk about PICA. A healthy day to you, Dr. Anderson. Oh, a healthy day to you too, uh, Mr. Miller. Please, call me Lawrence. Okay. So, um, what made you pray today? First and foremost, Doctor, what is PICA? Oh, Um, basically we all eat, right? Yes. But what we eat are, of course, food, edibles. Um, in, basically, in PICA, what happens is a person actually eats non-edibles. For example, soil, clay, feces, even nails actually have been um, seen, have been eaten by some people. So the word pica is derived from the Latin term for the word magpie, a bird which basically eats anything. So you can see the correlation between pica and magpie. Okay. So who can get the this disorder, doctor? Um, the, the disease, I mean the disorder, sorry, can be um, gained by people who are pregnant, um, can be actually seen when they are pregnant or have already given birth. There's actually um, sort of a term for this in uh, the Philippine culture, where they call it paglilihe. But basically what happens in paglilihe is um, the um, pregnant woman actually just eats edibles. They don't really eat anything that isn't um, edible by so another thing is by those people who have poor nutrition, for example, those people who are bulimic, they can't really eat um, the food. So what they do is, for example, they eat ice. And another thing is by people who are mentally retarded, you know. And then another thing is by people who have this in their ethnic customs, wherein basically um, they eat these unedible foods in their culture, but it is but it is considered a deviation in other cultures. Oh, so what
causes of this disorder named pica, doctor? Actually, pica, uh, the specific causes of pica are actually unknown, sad to say. And there are theories about why the young disorder is. So, for example, some doctors suspect that deficiency of iron or zinc may lead to the condition. And then, one psychological theory to explain pica is that eating clay or dirt helps relieve nausea, control diarrhea, increase salivation, remove toxins, and alter odor or taste perception during pregnancy. Despite the wide variety of theories though, not one of them explains all forms of pica because there are, di there are different forms of pica, for example, um, when you're eating ice, that's different from when you're eating soil and when you're eating other stuff. So a doctor must treat every case individually to understand that what may be causing the uh, condition. Okay, so what do you think are the problems and complications of this disorder? Secret as any woman should. But either way, we know the answer is clear. I use clear. Clear men for me. It has zinc vitanol, clinically proven effective to remove dandruff and prevent it from coming back. It's all settled then. For us, there's only one choice. New clear. No dandruff. malnutrition, intestinal obstruction, intestinal infections, or parasites from soil, of course, anemia, mercury poisoning, liver and kidney damage, constipation, and of course, the most common, abdominal problems. So, that's it. Amazing! So, we're done with the interview. Uh, I'm Sam Miller, reporting live at Riverton University Hospital. Back to you at the News Center. The boy in his own bedroom? What about that? I see, five-year-old Zach Tahir cannot differentiate food between inedible objects because of because he has pica. Oh, for him! Zach is also autistic and cannot speak. Zach has a constant need to chew, but as he can't distinguish between food and inedible objects, he wants to eat everything, from window blinds to the plaster on his walls. That sounds very complicated and quite yes. interesting. Yes. We're going to take a short break. After this, we're going to return with more about pica and could your dog also be afflicted with the same di disease. men in the country only clears coolest anti-dandruff shampoo is good enough feel clears cooling menthol on every nerve of your scalp up to three times more effective against dandruff it's the coolest sensation for my hair nothing else works for me is your shampoo cool enough we are back our next topic is very interesting to you pet owners out there. Pika and the adult dog. So does your dog eat everything? Well, you see, a common problem in dogs is the indigestion of unnatural objects such as candy wrappers, toilet paper, or socks. Not only is this behavior a nuisance around the house, but the swallowing of non-food particles poses a serious threat to the health of the dog. The problem requires attention and treatment. Oh, it's really strange. And then, uh... So how do we treat dogs with pica behavior? Uh, probably at least we should go and see the vet at least once in a month. And then another thing would be that you should always check on the pets how they are doing so that at least you will know if something is wrong. Oh, I see. Well then, 
That's it for Pika behavior in dogs. Next up, we have JM discussing people who are eating dirt. Moving to you, JM. Thank you so much, Ishi and Thundar. I'm live today at London, England at 6 a.m. in the morning. And from our news today, guess who's eating dirt? Surprising number of men found practicing pika. Turns out pregnant, wo pregnant women aren't the only ones who's eating dirt. A new study reveals a surprising incidence of pika craving and consuming non-food substance among men. Conducted in Madagascar where pika is common, the research is the first to identify a population where the practice is highly prevalent among men. Scientists say, in fact, the men in the study ate non-food items at least as much as pregnant women and adolescents, whom previous case studies had shown to be the main pika practitioner. Email wrote by Lopez which had been translated from Spanish said that, Personally, I think the work is pioneering, she said, because it reveals such high prevalence of pika in men and also found no significant difference with women. For now, the researchers are still continuing in preparing their study. So that's the news for today. Back to you, this MLS News, London, England. Thank you, Mr. GM. Next up, we have a reporter, Mr. Sam Miller, who is going to report about a man died from eating metal. Thank you, Thandar. An inquest was held into the death of Dewey Evans, a 61-year-old man from South Wales. Mr. Evans had been a patient at a psychiatric hospital in Ponticulum and was suffering from pica. He had undergone surgery twice before but died this time. After attempts to remove objects including a screw, a pen top, a magnet, and some coins from his bowel, at this inquest, the hospital's deputy manager explained how an extra fence had to be erected around the hospital to stop Mr. Evans going looking for things to eat, and how staff had to constantly monitor him in case he tried to swallow objects or drink bottles of cleaning fluid. Common cravings in people with cravings in people with pica include the urge to eat soil, coal, rust, chalk, and paper. Although people have been known to ingest anything from animal feces to bits of metal. Pica usually appears in people of a low mental age, says Gregory O'Brien, professor of developmental psychiatry at Northumberland University. So, it affects young kids and people with severe learning difficulties. Professor O'Brien says 1-2% to of people with learning disabilities suffer from extreme pica. It's really not very common, but when it occurs, it can be bad. It can cause digestive problems. Once again, this is similar to work molestations and damage to teeth. And that it can also have grave consequences if the items consumed are poisonous or, as in Mr. Evans' case, cause an obstruction in the intestines. In one American study, 25% of the